Now, um, I'll talk about 45 sentences. Um, using 45 sentences, um, we can make sentences better. 45 sentences are uh, six categories. There are threes and uh, the other threes. So, and then each category is about basically noun and verbs. Noun and verb um, with the adverbs. Uh, it's about uh, English grammar or others, but mostly it's like a pattern. While I've been studying English or using English, um, I found that kind of pattern mostly used and also the impact importance if the speakers and don't mistake with the 45 sentence and then um, they can use express and express English better. So, and then I'll um, here uh, talk about each category. First, noun. A, a book, books, a book, love. There are only four, four noun pattern with the uh, noun. It's very important. If we don't make mistake with it, these four pattern of book, books, the book, and love, we can reduce many mistakes in sentence so when we express speaking or writing. Also, when we listen, we can uh, listen better than before because we know about uh, with the, uh, the and s like uh, that um, or as the make uh, listening difficult. So, and then understanding about uh, as the, in the sentence, we can figure out sentence, can listen to, listen better. Um, okay, the second is noun poems, just the noun positions. Uh, instead of noun, we can use pronoun like he, we, I, you, like that. And gerund, like, uh, Knowing yourself is important and to infinitive also. Um, and that clause, 5W1H clause also can use the position of noun. So, and then we can uh, make sentence with the five noun form, five noun positions. We can practice this and then and we can make more sentences much easier to express many, many sentences with the nouns. So and then these uh, four nouns and the uh, five noun positions become uh, subjects, object, complements, uh, which uh, make sentences uh, uh, with the uh, verbs. And also pen describing nouns. And that means uh, there are nouns that this pen described patterns can make the nouns more clearly. And also the it make a long sentence. And then pen describing nouns, uh, adjective, compound nouns, prepositional phrase, and to infinitive, present participle, past participle, relative pronouns, relative adverb preposition or relative pronoun, that clause. It seems like grammar, but if you understand how you can make this pattern of uh, sentence and then 10 pattern which is described nouns, then you can make a fluent sentence uh, with the, um, expressions in English. Uh, so in the three categories here, and the next two, three categories and tense, this is a verbs and adverbs. 
simply I mentioned about uh, nouns, noun and verbs. Uh, every language, including Korean or Vietnamese or Japanese and English, and we main sentence consists of noun, verb, and nouns, or noun, nouns, verbs. This is order of um, words but, uh, in grammar. But if we know about noun and verbs, almost we can make sentence with noun and verbs. So, and then the patterns, the main pattern is with nouns and verbs. So here, uh, I show you the verbs and adverbial uh, words, places, clouds to which she described or more explained the verb or the sentence. The 12 tenses in English, three times four equal verbs. We have a present, past, the future. And also the tense like uh, simple, itself in present past future, and continuous, perfect, continuous, perfect. Then we present, present continuous, present perfect, present continuous, perfect. Past, past continuous, past perfect, past continuous, perfect. If we know about uh, these uh, world tenses, uh, we can express uh, um, properly in sentence, uh, in terms of time and what when happened, what will really happen, some it's very important part of tenses. English tenses are mostly um, complicated part. Second, uh, the fifth, A verb patterns. The verb pattern is very unique. They are group. Only verb, or we are passive verb, uh, passive active. And then be adjective to position uh, or verb noun, verb and nouns, present verbs, and above objective and verb or verb objective and to infinity or verb object, objective um, participle. There are also uh, three patterns and verb objective, preposition, and objective. That these verb uh, patterns, uh, we can practice uh, with the eight verb patterns. We can make uh, more sentence. Uh, at the end, six adverb. Adverb, 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 proportional price to infinity participle. Adverb clouds can be used, which uh, describe in verb or which describe in sentence and more clearly. Uh, so, and then when we know about these 45 uh, <clears throat> category and basic uh, example of uh, sentence, and when we express uh, speaking or writing with these 45 sentence, we can um, successfully express uh, uh, our um, opinion or ideas in English. So, and then uh, practice 45 sentence with each, each uh, category, understand and then uh, practice. And then maybe at least uh, each um, category has 10 sentences, example of 10 sentences. That means 450 sentences we have. So, and then uh, after then, uh, I'll make some example about 10, then I'm almost 45, but 450 sentences. Okay, here.